We've just looked over medical and recreational drugs. Now let's move on to the nervous system and hormones. Our body has two main systems controlling it, the nervous system and the hormone system. The nervous system works in three parts. We have our central nervous system that consists of our brain and our spinal cord, and we have our peripheral nervous system that is made up of the nerves in the rest of the body. The hormonal system is made up of our glands and the chemicals that are secreted by those glands. It's basically a chemical relay around our body. A gland detects a change and has a reaction to that change. It creates a hormone or chemical that affects the bloodstream in the course of other reactions that happen afterwards. The nervous system works on receptors and stimuli. If I put my hand into something hot, the temperature receptors on my fingers will relay a message back to the neurons in my brain, saying that there's a temperature change and I need to move my hand. This response is automatic, so I don't have to think about this happening. If I put my hand into something hot, I will feel pain and immediately pull it out. This is called a reflex. We also use the nervous system for our senses. We have receptors on our tongue for taste, in our nose for smell, ears for sound, and other receptors around the body. The hormonal system is also controlled by our nervous system. A part of our brain is called the hypothalamus. This is basically our control sensor. It regulates all of the levels of our body, including the percentage of chemicals, temperatures, concentration, and blood pressure. If anything goes out of balance, this part of the brain sends out messages through different glands and chemicals for our body to make changes. For example, if I don't drink enough water during the day, my body will start to store the water that I do have in my blood. So I won't go to the toilet, because a chemical has been released to my kidneys to store up any extra water. Hormones are also important in the development of the human body. For example, during puberty, a female and a male will release different hormones to induce changes, namely estrogen for women and testosterone for men. One of the hormonal responses that doesn't really fit in is the fight or flight response. This happens when you are put into a situation where you would either need to fight, putting all of the energy of your body into that fight, or flight, for instance, to get away from that situation. It is a survival of the fittest trait. What happens when your body detects a stimulus that could put you in this situation is that your adrenaline is released from the adrenal glands. This hormone increases the blood flow in your body, which makes us energetic, so that we can face the situation with all available energy. That was the nervous system and hormones. Make sure you go back to the beginning of the biology video and listen to them all again.